Good evening, Father's Heart Digital Church. Good evening, South Africa. Welcome to this call. It's an absolute privilege visiting with you tonight. And um, yes, we are on facilitator training. And um, thank you for every one of you that's been on the call on Facebook. I trust that you found that insightful. And uh, I couldn't uh, I couldn't interview a more beautiful lady tonight. So um, thank you, Val. But um, so uh, tonight we are on facilitator training. And tonight we just want to have a discussion with you, um, the same as what we've done on on the on the uh, Facebook one. But the difference is tonight we're going to have you to talk to us. And uh, I have Val with me. Let me get Val in the room. Hello, Val. Uh, Val is uh, patiently waiting for me to get her into the room. I've got the control. I can decide when she's on screen and not on screen. And if I take her off screen, she she's muted so automatically. So then she cannot talk. Hello, Leafy. Hello everybody. It is actually difficult for me not to be able to see any of you. So I'm sitting here in the background and although you see me, I can see nobody. But welcome and it's nice to be with you tonight. Cool. Thank you, Val. Yes, um, we are privileged to be facilitators and uh, we are privileged to have you as the facilitators in the room tonight. And uh, we, we tonight want to talk about home fellowship and uh, what happened in home fellowship in this year so any one of you as facilitator who had a home fellowship or ran a home fellowship this year that would like to add something or say something ask something about home fellowship or contribute uh, some uh, testimony of what happened this year in home fellowship you're welcome i will later allow you to unmute let's just start i have a few people that are asked to um, give us comment and um, i'm gonna start with the people that are asked to give comment tonight because they had time to prepare and um, i'm going to ask them to just whatever I've, i didn't tell them what to say i just said to him to them you have a few minutes and uh, with a with a emphasis on few and that's just for francois but um you have a few minutes and um erica you died to feel like where he is now um, but um uh, we we have a few minutes for the facilitators and tonight we want to honor the facilitators we want to honor you from home fellowship but tonight we want to go and check in with home fellowships and uh, say but what happened this year in home fellowship and, and we're going to start with uh, eric and uh, and karen we're going to ask eric and karen to unmute and to just share with us a little with well let me not guide them let me allow them to say what they want to say eric and karen thank you for being willing to to talk to the team Good evening, Pastor Donnie. Good evening, everybody. Um, what we've got out of this, this session for the last year is that we have been enriched spiritually. We've been able to give, but we've been able to receive as well. And I think there's no better topic than the topic that we handled last night, calling Living Waters. And in our group, the living water was flowing into the other people in the group. And we received from that as well. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And uh, we received to such an extent that I'm amazed. All of you have probably had Anna Sophia Gavet in their homes or in their group. How many of you know that she's well into her 80s? You probably know that. But how many of you know that she published a book last year? Hmm? News to you. Over 80, 80 call her an 80 plus. And there she's published a book about... Um, faith walk. About, yeah, about a, a faith walk. And prayer and uh, all the... Basics. She said, go and Google me and you will find my book and you will be able to buy it on Amazon. Yeah. And it's fascinating. And she's an 80 pluser. Mm. So it just shows it's never too late to do something fabulous. Yeah. And everything with this book fell into place. Someone came and helped her with the copyright. Someone helped her to get it published. Mm. And it was meant to be. So that is the ultimate in living waters. Mm. And the other thing is that I want to add to Eric is 
we got to know different people with different characteristics. And some of our people on this group are absolute prayer warriors. So we know when you need prayer, you know who to phone, phone a friend, or come to the group for prayer, and you have the prayer. And there's love, there's support, there's kindness. Oh, oh, the Holy Spirit just flows. This wisdom, it's everything that you read in Proverbs 4, the wisdom that flows that God gives you the word to know. So it's wonderful. And the sharing and uh, the importation that people give you as well in the groups. I think that's all I need to say. Cool. Thank you, um, Martin and Eric. Sorry, Eric, that you still want to add. No, I said that's about it. Okay, cool. That's about it. So thank you, Eric and Karen. And um, yes, it's 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 so amazing. Uh, actually, Val, just uh, last uh, Saturday, Mary, it was Saturday that Val visited with Anna Sophia. And uh, so uh, uh, you didn't, did you? Oh, okay, cool. No, no, it you just left me hanging here. And I thought, yes. Um, but uh, so, uh, yeah, um, they live around the corner from us. So we have the privilege of, of seeing them once in a while. And uh, yeah, it's it's amazing. But before we before I um, get back to Val, let me let me go to someone else that said they will say something tonight. And, and let me go to um, Francois. And uh, no, before we go to Francois, let me go to Jan and Corlea first. Jan and Corlea, if you will unmute and, and share that, what you have on the heart. Hi, everyone. Uh, no, we had uh, a fabulous year on, uh, on Home Fellowship. There was uh, plenty of growth uh, on our side, but also on the group members' side. One can see the, the growth. You, you're praying into something, children's for, uh, children or grandchildren of, of the uh, people attending. And then they end up coming with the testimonies a week or two weeks later or months or two months later, or they come and they say, listen, now that you say it, I've noticed this has changed. This has changed. Eyesight has improved. Uh, health of other members in the family improved. Or people are getting more to listen to uh, the communion teachings uh, that no normally didn't listen to that. Changes in atmospheres. Yeah. So there's, there's a lot of uh, it's one person attending the, the Home Fellowship group, but that one person that attends the Home Fellowship group go and impact 10 or 12 other people or more. So it's uh, we're just putting the fire out there, igniting the fire where we can. And uh, yeah, we, we're proud to be part of the Home Fellowship groups. Are you done? Uh, are you going to add something there, Corlea? I just want to add the family. To push this to your family. This. You can an Afrikaans praat, this reg. What is for you? I just want to add to your family. We can deal, we can praat. It's just like it. It's just like it. We can see it on our own what we can do. It's just like it. Cool. Thank you very much. Thank you, um, Jan and, and, and Corlea. And uh, Val just ran into my office to say that she cannot hear what you guys are saying. So sorry, Val, something has gone wrong here. So Val is not hearing what you're saying. So if you want to say something to her, you have to tell me and I will tell her. Okay. So um, um, can you hear? Can you? Oh, you can hear me, but not, not the people. So my apology for that, Val. Um, so there's something that I need to go learn. But I wanted to do it differently tonight and I've gone... Um, out of my socks. So thank you, Jan and Cordelia. And yes, um, Home Fellowship is a place where we learn, isn't it? It's a place where the facilitator learn just as much as the people. And the people bring to the table and the facilitator bring to the table. But we meet each other and we, we really build into each other's lives. And uh, we give each other the boldness to go and do. And, and how many times did I prepare for Home Fellowship, prepare something, the Holy Spirit change it on the moment because the Holy Spirit taught me that if you're not prepared for Home Fellowship, you can never ever say that the Holy Spirit changed it because you haven't prepared. You just thought up, brought up something. You had too much pizza the previous night and you just bring up some stuff.
So I've always been prepared. But sometimes in that last moment, the Holy Spirit changed what we discuss at Home Fellowship. And uh, remember, we grew up in Home Fellowship before the way that we do it now, where we actually give you a topic. We had to prepare a topic ourselves. And now it's a lot easier because we, pro we provide you with a basic outline. We provide you with a detail of a topic um, to assist and help you. And um, the, the key part is, so thank you, Jan and Corlia, for your contribution in Home Fellowship and, and, and hosting people at your home and getting people um, involved in the, in the church, in the body of Christ. Um, I have someone else that said he wants to say something and you can never keep him quiet. So um, he asked me that he pleaded with me and he sent me notes and uh, notes, not, not pieces of paper with script, with the writings on notes, like in 50. No, it wasn't 50. It was those orange ones. Hey, eh? um, now I'm joking. Francois, please unmute. And you said you, you'll say something to you tonight with what you've done because you, you've done a, a, a specific journey, a different kind of journey in home fellowship with the way that you do your outreaches, the way that you actually do something back into your community. Please share with us. Well, you can call me Mr. Flat Out because I do everything flat out. But I've got a New Year's revolution, a resolution now, not a revolution. I'm not, if I hadn't had time to prepare for a Zoom meeting, that's what we have, I'll make sure that I do not eat Pizza before the time. That Donny has taught me tonight. Okay. Uh, just so everybody knows, we don't have a normal small group. We stay on a small holding outside of town, about 15 kilometers. Now, people that, that live in the Plutterland, in the countryside, uh, they know that uh, 15 kilometers is very far for country people. In town, it's not all that far. Seems to, if you travel 20 kilometers to work and 20 That's kilometers on. back home every day, it doesn't seem like a problem. But over here, people talk about as though it's very far. And then if we have Zoom meetings, it'll have to be probably at night when, when my whole family is at home. And that is not going to work for people traveling in the dark. So we decided to have a Zoom group. We Zoom in the week. Everybody can attend it. Even Erica, when she's at the office, she attends it. And if a customer walks in, she just goes, she just closes a, 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 video, a video. And then she carries on quickly and she comes back to us. And that's the way we operate this. Same with some of our other members. Now, I want to tell you about what we did uh, in the beginning of this year. We decided we're going to visit the old age homes this year. And we're going to visit every one of them once. And we're going to bring them live music. A guy uh, with his back, back uh, tracks, I suppose that's what you call it. And he sings live. And he sings beautiful. He stays with us here on the, on the small holding. He rents a house from me. And uh, he sang to the old people while we uh, made a fire outside. And we had a braai every time, and we made them uh, wolfsbroekies, uh, rechte boere wolfsbroekies, with all the trimmings thereby. And we decided on hamburgers as well, and curry and rice, whatever we feel like that week, we made them that. We didn't make the curry too strong, so that uh, the whole old age home had to rent extra toilets or something for that afternoon. So, you know, we kept everything at a nice level, easy base. But anyhow, yes, the people really enjoyed it, and we also enjoyed it. And at our Zoom group, Donnie will not believe me, but I know you guys. I give everybody a chance to speak. <laughs> he actually does. <laughs> uh, yeah, that. Did you hear that, guys? She said he actually does. I would not have guessed that, eh? Francois, after, I would definitely after not like, have guessed After like 20 minutes, you've got to put it in quickly. Yeah, no, okay, look, they have to become prepared, same as I do. I run through the whole program quickly, and then I say, okay, bring your notes. I want to hear them. So I check that the, that the children did their homework. Okay, but anyhow, uh, we had a very nice group this year. 
uh, and it actually grew. Uh, but you can't have too many people for somebody that considers a Zoom group. You can't have too many people on a Zoom group. If, if you go over a certain amount of time, like 40 minutes, then you have to pay big bucks. I'm talking about it's really expensive. So um, <clears throat> we have to limit it to that time span. And if you have too many people, not everybody's going to have a chance to talk. So we limit our, our amount of people that we allow. And we've been blessed. And I'm sure everybody else on the small group, they tell me they are blessed every week. So, yes, praise the Lord. We're doing something right. And we, we've we got uh, – we do everything that we must, except walk the block. We can't. We just pray the block. Okay, well, new concept. We, we pray for the police station. We pray for the municipality. And we well, pray the block. Maybe okay. you can visit him. Cool, but uh, thank you, Francois and, and Erika. Sorry, I did not say Francois and Erika. I just said Francois. My apology, Erika. And no um, do you want something that you want to add? I think for my kind, as a Afrikaans can praat, um, the the betekenis van die kleine groepe in my huishouding, sien ek die groei in Francia en Tanya geweldig. Ek sien er rechtig die verandering in die groei Hoe nader aan die heren hulle kom, sê, ja, dit is een absolute blessing vir ons as gesin. Cool. En ek leer, al sit ek op die bank, ek leer baie. Cool. Dankie, Erika. <laughs> can, can I, maybe, add, can I, maybe, add a short thing? If there's anybody that wants to start a Zoom group, or wants to join us, we've got a space for one or two more people, um, if you want to start something like that, you want advice, you are free to call me anytime. Cool. Okay. Thank you, Francois. And, and Francois is actually on two, two Zoom groups because Francois is, he's got a home fellowship, his own home fellowship from people from his area on a Zoom group. But he's also on a Wednesday evening on the, on the official uh, home fellowship, the Wednesday evening home fellowship. Francois is a facilitator in that room as well. And as Eric and Karen is also a facilitator in that group as well, Valerie is a facilitator in that group as well. And that's why I asked Jan and Corlea because they actually have a live home fellowship in their, in their home. So we've done the three kinds of home fellowships tonight. We had people in the room for that. It's a home fellowship that's live, one-on-one, -on -one, Jan and Corlea. It's a home fellowship that's um, the, the official digital home fellowship of Father's Heart Digital Church. And that is um, uh, Eric and Karen. And, uh, and uh, then uh, Francois is a facilitator there as well, but he's got his own Zoom. So just to, to show you the different ways, the different means of getting to people. And uh, we help you. We give you the, the information. We, we give you the training. And as I, as I said on the, on the Facebook Live, which Ta um, Tanya did not join tonight, if I go to the Facebook Live, we, we told you that if you just go onto YouTube, to the Dr. Arthur Frost YouTube, uh, Dr. Arthur Frost Teachings YouTube, and you click Home Fellowship, and you click Lesson 1, Lesson Number 1 to Lesson Number 8, give you the whole spiel, the whole story of what how to do a Home Fellowship. And uh, you don't start your first night with that whole program and try and run through that. You every week implement a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. And after three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine weeks, you get it waxed, and uh, then you go. And sometimes you still allow the Holy Spirit to, to help you and guide you and, and do it a bit differently. We, we're not a stickler for that. But I want to uh, get Val on camera, and I hope she's at a computer. Yes, she's at a computer. Val, what would you like to add tonight to Home Fellowship? Val has got a lot of interaction with the facilitators, the lady facilitators. A lot of them, um, I talk to them, but I don't always have time to talk to them. Uh, Val essentially talks to the lady facilitators that, that have questions and ask um, I talk to the men, and uh, Val, just uh, one or two words of facilitating or home fellowship this year, one or two things that, that uh, jumped up at you. I know that you, you answered a lot of questions in the first session. Thank you for that. But uh, what would you still like to add tonight? Well, unfortunately, I haven't been uh, able to listen to your conversation, so there's nothing I can add to whatever you said. Um, what I can say is that we really appreciate the, um, the uh, ladies facilitating the groups. 
Um, I do get questions. Uh, for instance, um, uh, how can I put it? Um, somebody who has a guest or a, or a member that um, they're not quite sure how to treat a certain situation or, or um, uh, they are unsure of certain um, scriptures or they just want something more. Um, not that I'm a real, um, very clever about all that. It's just the Holy Spirit that guide and help me. And, but together, what I can say is that together we can listen, together we can pray, and um, and the God and God always comes through in a mighty way in serving and um, listening, praying together with uh, with home fellowship leaders. Um, for instance, if there's illness, I will just jump in and say, um, let's let's pray together, because two is always better than one. And um, and then as far as uh, visiting and um, just taking somebody else's hand and help them through difficult situations, edifying people, um, standing with them in times when they don't really, um, when they feel weak, because there are times that we don't have um, all the energy and all the strength and um, so it is it's an honor and a privilege for me just to be there for the ladies be there for a voice or just an ear and sometimes i don't even have the answer but whatever they share with me um, be assured that it's very private and confidential with me i don't discuss anything that ladies speak to me about i don't share it with anybody it really is private and confidential and um, yeah, it's a privilege to stand with the ladies and take their prayers and stand in agreement with them. Cool, thank you, Val. And uh, that is uh, that is a thank you. That's uh, what we come in for every one of you tonight. We just want to come and say thank you. And uh, tonight was just uh, an ode to the facilitator, but um, uh, and and talking to every one of you. But I would like to to come in and say. Um, I've allowed the, the mic to, um, the, I allow you to unmute. I see Peter is here. Peter is um, always on a Wednesday evening a facilitator. Barbara is always a facilitator on a Wednesday evening. And uh, if any one of you would like to say anything or anyone on the call would like to ask or say something with regards to home fellowship, you're more than welcome. I've allowed you to unmute. You can unmute and, um, and ask. And if you ask the difficult questions tonight, I have Val, I have Val next to me. So we have answers for that too. So uh, if there's anyone that would like to add something, that would like to add a testimony of what happened in Home Fellowship this year, you're welcome to unmute. Um, tonight is our last. Um, uh, Barbara, I allow you to... Uh, my apology, Barbara. Sorry, you can unmute now. My apology, Barbara. Uh, I... Let me do it this way, then I know you can unmute. Barbara, you definitely can unmute now. But um, tonight is our last uh, Home Fellowship Facilitators meeting. Next week, I will just have a topic, 7 o'clock, general teaching. Again, I will focus mainly on Home Fellowship. But um, to next week, there will not be facilitator training. Hence the fact that uh, Friday is a public holiday. We will allow you to have a braai or do whatever you like. Barbara, I see that you're unmuted. Please uh, go ahead. Thank you. <clears throat> well, um, I just want to add to, I think it's what uh, Karen had said. Um, I've learned a lot as well from the people in the home fellowship, in the, the digital home fellowship, because we don't have a, a face, to, uh, a physical one. And um, the years that we've been doing this now has absolutely been a, a blessing. Because we get the teaching um, on a Thursday and then we share on a Wednesday. And what comes out from, from whoever's in your group, because as we all know, the groups change. Now and again, you'll get somebody the same for about four weeks running, uh, one person, but the others in the group are changing. 
And it's very, very interesting and encouraging um, to hear each one's take on the different topics. And also on the prayer, um, that has been a, a wonderful part <coughs> sorry, of the, 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 the home fellowship, is being able to pray with each other, for each other, and have many times them praying for us as well as a facilitator. So it's, I really, really enjoy our Wednesday evenings and dislike it when I've got to miss. So cool. thank you for, for bringing this whole thing together, Pastor Donnie. Cool. Thank you, Barbara. We really appreciate you. And, and you are always there. It's just, I mean, you've missed one or maybe twice this year, um, if it's that, that many. So, um, yeah, but uh, thank you, Marina. I see that you said in the chat box that Val is always there and uh, that she's a great help. Um, thank you for that. I see, I've seen Charlene, uh, I've seen someone that's unmuted, that's muted again now. Uh, Charlene Bosov, you have raised your hand, you unmuted, you can talk. Thank you, Pastor Daniel. I just want to say thank you for this year. It's been an awesome year with Father's Art. Digital Church and this platform that really means a lot to me as a single person. Um, a few weeks ago, um, I requested a prayer for my health because um, I'm diabetes and um, the the medication were not available and will not be available until next year. And um, the group started praying for me, and the whole situation changed. As um, I went back to the doctor and I said, Doctor, you said that I'm going to die if I don't use the medication. And she changed it to a tablet. I don't need to inject myself anymore. And I really want to praise God because my sugar is really coming to levels that's that hasn't been in a long time my blood pressure is is coming to a normal and i just want to honor this uh, group for really supporting us when we need prayer i really honor each and everyone on this group thank you very much <laughs> that's so humbling thank you shaleen and uh, yes, that's um, absolutely humbling. And <laughs> Lord, we just come and we just pray for Shalim. Lord, we just come and step into the gap. And we just want to come and take our hands and, and hold our hands up um, as Aaron. And we just want to come and, and, and pray for her and, and speak life into her body and tell her body that Jesus Christ has paid the price. There is no way that we will allow that to happen in her body. That we speak healing, supernatural healing over in the in the mighty name, the matchless name, the anointed name of Christ Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. Cool. Uh, thank you, Charlene. Never ever miss a moment to pray for someone. And that's my that's my saying. So thank you for giving me an opportunity to pray for you, Charlene. Um, anyone else that would like to unmute and say something? Uh, Peter, I see you somewhere on here. Yes, man. At last I've got Peter so far as to unmute. It's, I can concur with what is said by the others. My prof was said, come prepared, but also be prepared to receive. Not prepared to give, but prepared to receive. And then every time you receive, it never misses that one. And I think Charlene said it, we all need the prayers. And all of a sudden, in the middle of the night, you get, a, get somebody that phones you and says, Peter, you have to go bed and you have to go to bed. It makes it. And it comes from various sources. You know, so, yeah. Come prepared, but also come prepared to receive. Sharing is caring. Go for a testimony. That was the um, so it's been great. The Lord has blessed all of us, me included. Thank you very much, Pastor, for what you have done for this group. 
I don't think you always realize it, but yeah, you do abuse that. Thank you, Peter. Opinion. Thank you, Peter. I appreciate that. But it's not what it's about. It's all about Christ. It's all about Him, all the glory to Him. And thank you for honoring honoring that. And Peter, thank you. Um, the two or three times that I could not be on the call, you you stepped in on the Wednesday evening, the Home Fellowship call, and you facilitate that. I really appreciate that. Linda, I see that you're unmuted. Hi. Um, yeah, so this year I was quite excited because some of the people who joined Fellowship this year, um, obviously some of them came to salvation, and then one of them was water baptized this in November, so that was pretty awesome. And yeah, so they're all growing and they all have had an opportunity to also facilitate a topic, so it's quite cool. Yeah. Cool, man. How cool is that for a testimony? Thank you. Thank you for that, Linda. That's a, that's such a such an amazing testimony. People came to Christ and people were water baptized. That's those are the steps. That's the other steps. So thank you, Linda, for offering up of yourself and uh, being there for the people. We really appreciate that and I honor you for that. Now honor our Father for what you're doing in your own fellowship. Please say our regards to everyone and give them a hug from us. Um, Val, I don't know if you would like to add something, then we're going to, there's no more uh, mics unmuted, so then we're going to end up this, in the school. Pray for everyone and uh, we're going to have a lovely Christmas. I oh, know that's what Dr. Foss say. I shouldn't say that. Val, last words from you. <laughs> I can just say I missed all the comments tonight. I'm going to listen to the recording very, very shortly. But thank you, everybody, for contributing. Thank you for your contribution during the year. Know that we respect you. We honor you. We appreciate you. You must have a wonderful time if you're going away on holiday. Be safe, safe travels, enjoy your families, and just love each other. And um, don't ne neglect your prayer life or your um, scripture or your reading. Um, listen to the teachings. They're all going to be new and enriching. And um, yeah, just have a wonderful time. Love you lots. Cool. Thank you, Val. We really appreciate you and thank you for your input into my life and into the life of of uh, the church this year and uh, we really honor you ladies and gentlemen that leaves us with uh, saying goodbye and good night to everyone